Hi everyone. Well, I am here. I'm in Outlook 2013. It looks very similar to the Outlook 2010. And in this video, I'm going to cover the differences that you need to know right now between Office 2013 and Office 2010. To just start us off, uh, Outlook 2013, uh, one thing you need to know is it runs in cache mode. What you need to know on a practical level for that is that when you open it up in the morning, the software will come up and it'll appear like everything's ready, but it's actually taking time to pull in the new mail. So about a minute after you load, well, maybe it's 30 seconds, um, you, it'll pull in your new mail. And at the bottom, it'll say all folders are up to date. So that's one thing. The other thing you need to know is it's only pulling in uh, anything that's a year older or younger into your inbox. Now don't panic, you can still get to older items. And what you do is, now I know I have some in this folder, Accelerated Learning, um, that are older. And so here it's bringing in things that are less than a year, but at the bottom of this folder, do you see where it says click here to view more on Microsoft Exchange? If I just click that, it's going to bring in the things that are older than that uh, year for me and then I can go through and work with those like like I would normally so that's one thing you need to know mm -hmm. all right and that's true in your inbox also uh, the other thing you need to know is about the search function so if I search and I, I do this search uh, it'll find results but at the bottom of my results will this be this more link you're going to want to get into the habit of clicking that more link options because many times uh, some of the options you'd be looking for would be hidden in those results. So you search for your items, scroll down and click more. All right. So, so that's the, the most important thing. Some other things that would, are nice is, you know, right now I'm viewing all of the items in my inbox. I could click unread to view just unread and then click all. The other thing that's really nice is the, this red X. When you hover over something, the red X appears on the right, and I can just delete an item with that red X. So that's really nice. Uh, another feature, and I haven't done this myself uh, on a permanent basis, but let's say my Blackboard folder I want at the top of my list. I can drag it up to the top, and it'll stay there now. It doesn't have to be in alphabetical order. Now my suggestion is only to do that with a few folders because you could end up with a mess and have a hard time finding your folders. Uh, also at the bottom, instead of those um, buttons in the left hand pane to access your calendar, you see mail, calendar, people, tasks. So if I want to go to my calendar, I can click calendar and it's going to show me my calendar for today. The other thing is I can set up so I see the weather and you can actually add locations where you can see the weather if you want to. All right. Uh, the other thing, and I'm going to go back to mail. If I am viewing a um, document, I could reply to it. Now if I click reply, it's going to build, bring that reply right in that same space. What I could do if I wanted it in a separate window is I could just click pop out and then it'll pop out to its own window. So that's another item, a uh, new feature that you can take advantage of. Uh, so those are some of the things that you can do in Outlook that are different. Uh, there is one other thing I'm going to mention, you know, this customized quick access toolbar. If I click that, they've got this touch slash mouse mode. Now if you check that, it'll bring this button up here and I can choose between mouse mode and let me switch to touch mode. It spreads out the uh, buttons at the top for me. So if you're working with some sort of touch screen, you can switch modes for that. So that's really pretty slick. So those are the big things you need to know about as far as Outlook is concerned. Now, I just opened up Word, and when you open up Word, it's going to look a little different right away 
this is the screen you get to when you open up Word. If you're going to do a new document, you're just going to double click the blank document and it'll open that for you. Again, we have the file view and you'll notice when I click file, it gives me all of these options and then there's an arrow that I'd click to get back to my document. Uh, you'll notice I could open screens and I have recent documents here. Uh, let's let's go to save as so you can see how that works. Now if I save something, I could save it to my computer. And when I do that, the browse button is in the lower right. And I can click browse and then save my document. The other thing uh, you could do is... I could add a place, uh, so SharePoint is an option, but most of us don't do that. And saving, now let's look at opening documents. So if I click open, I have my recent documents. So here are my recent documents on the right. Or I could go to computer and then browse, and then that'll take me to that open dialog box for accessing one of those documents. And I think that is a little different, takes some getting used to, and again the arrow would take me back. The other thing I can do, and I'm going to go back to file, and if you go to options at the bottom, there is an option under display, actually under general, where I can choose my office background, and that is these stars right now I have here. Uh, so I could pick, well, I'll pick doodle circles, and I can choose just three color choices. So I'll pick light gray and now when I click OK it changes the top of that and that'll change it in Outlook and Excel and PowerPoint. So those are some of the big changes that you need to be aware of. The only other thing I want to add is um, if I go to the insert options in Word instead of clip art we now have online pictures and you can choose from the office clip art or a Bing search and you can just search it'll find some choices uh, if you click on it uh, you, you can use the, that to preview it so the little magnifying glass and if you double click on it it'll insert it so the clip art is not as good in my opinion as it used to be but that's gonna be how it works Anyhow, I hope this helps get you started with uh, Office 2013. Thanks and good luck.